The U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics reports that in 2006 alone, just in private industry, there were over 4 million workplace-related incidents reported, costing into the hundreds of billions of dollars. And yet, in our factories and offices, there's no shortage of safety policies, rules, procedures, committees, signage, and other safety efforts. We spare no expense in the pursuit of safety excellence. So, why does it continue to remain out of reach? Why do we continue to have incidents and accidents, injuries and illness? Is it just a part of life, something we can't really avoid, no matter how hard we try, or how much we spend? Possibly, and yet one company, out of tens of thousands of others, has reached a level of safety excellence unexpected in the world of modern business. Well, I think our safety uh, record speaks for itself. Dine McDermott Petroleum, recipient of the Robert W. Campbell Award for Safety Excellence, recipient of the Baldridge Award, and the company that achieved OSHA VPP star status at each of its four facilities, obviously excels at safety. In the 35-minute video, Safety Benchmarking with Dine McDermott, you'll get an in-depth look at their safety program, how they did it, how they use the combination of behavior-based safety, including direct observation, peer reinforcement, and employee empowerment, in conjunction with employee-based committees, a no-punishment atmosphere, and true support from management to implement the changes and ideas the employees come up with to take their safety incidents from over 50 a year down to six in a very short period of time without breaking the bank. Their secret? Culture change a goal that's easier spoken of than attained. But they did reach it, and you'll learn that it's not magic. Instead, it's a very reachable goal that any company can achieve through putting the employees in charge and through getting us to think more about safety. Everybody's involved here. It's, it's the whole site. It's not just certain individuals. That, that's what I think is like the best thing, you know, that uh, you're involving every level of employee. That's when you start seeing the results. That's when you start that's when the cultural change starts. And that involvement happens by first getting all the employees trained in the basics of safety, then using the process of behavior-based safety and specifically the act of direct observation to put safety more in the forefront of every employee's mind. It keeps safety in your mind and makes you more, more safety conscious. It keeps people aware on the site and makes you think of safety more often. I mean, that was one of the things that convinced Bob Miguel. Is one of our observers told him he was sitting in his chair wrong when he used his computer, and he said, it didn't matter whether I wanted to remember that or not, every time after that that I sat down in that chair, that's what I thought about. Next, employees watch for critical behaviors, those behaviors that might lead to an accident. But unlike some unpopular forms of behavioral safety, Dine McDermott's program digs a little deeper asking the question, why do we engage in unsafe behaviors in the first place? If they're doing it, they're doing it for some reason. So it causes you to ask the employee, and you make it answers as diverse as, well, this stupid piece of machinery had the handle on the wrong side, so I have to lean all the way out and get to the handle. Or they don't reimburse me for hard hats, so I didn't feel like going out and buying a hard hat. And this is where management steps in. First, management avoids punishing for unsafe behaviors, knowing that this kind of punishment will shut off the flow of information coming from employees. Employees will be reluctant to provide any other input to management if they know that there's some form of retribution that's going to be taken. What we're trying to do is not retaliate, what we're trying to do is get you to use the basic techniques properly to start with so you don't hurt yourself or hurt some, one of your coworkers. But just as importantly, management supports the employees, making sure employee ideas for better safety get vetted and implemented in a fast, efficient manner. If an employee identifies something, this valve is dangerous. You have to show management commitment that we're going to repair or fix. If you're unable to provide that, that assurance to employees, and you're unable to demonstrate that you can walk the walk. Just do your job. They're not going to feel as comfortable in recommending or implementing things in the future. <laughs> At Dine McDermott, committees made up of rank and file employees use tools like peer reinforcement, safety monitor reports, safety walkthroughs, process hazards analyses, benchmarking, and information sharing to ferret out safety problems and remove them. 
Best of all, you and your staff will learn these concepts and the no-nonsense, what's-in-it-for-me reasons behind the ideas, straight from the mouths of the passionate people who've put them into action. Yeah, you could say it goes way beyond the, the words on a piece of paper. You're the one out in the field, you're the one that sees the danger areas and you, you know, they want you to have a good eye because, number one, I mean, a lot of times your management's not out here seeing what's going on. I guess they felt that, you know, they had pride and ownership in, in the programs. You're not only looking out for yourself, but you're looking out for your fellow worker. You feel like you're making a difference, too, not only for yourself, but for other workers on the site. I had a close call, I guess you call it. I almost passed up the intersection, and I stopped before I hit the gate, so I felt that it was necessary that we do something before somebody did hit the gate. We found a, a piping issue with one of our storage tanks. Who noticed it? I, I did. You noticed yeah. it? Yeah. So it wasn't like management or OSHA came in and said, this is wrong? Right. And it, it wasn't even in my expertise, uh, but it was uh, you know, something that just kind of jumped out at me. Are you ready to take safety to the next level in your workplace? Then take a lesson from someone who stands at the top of the field. Get inspired and take the next step towards safety excellence with the Safety Benchmarking with Dine McDermott DVD today. I feel that I will go home safe in the afternoon, you know, to be with my child, and um, I wouldn't have it any other way.